with another deep dive into Richard Martin's excellent playthrough of 1940. Oh, looks like he's played through a RAS, or at least started. Um, but this is The Hag, the one that I've been looking forward to get doing a deeper dive because this used to give me nightmares as a player on ultimate difficulty, on any difficulty. I hate this map. It's not a fun map for me. And so to watch him dissect this map is going to be very educational for me as well as I'm sure you. So uh, take it away, Richard. Okay. Um, for this map, I think movement plus one on one artillery is really important. Because I mean, you could probably do it without it, but uh, it, it's very meticulously planned so that I shove as much artillery as possible towards Rodstam or Rotterdam. Uh, and we have a de-entrenchment war, but it happens very quickly. Like, you're starting on turn two to already de-entrench. Um, and the problem is you don't have space, right? So you gotta, like, find some sort of unique configuration to, to get your artillery in place so you can actually fire the next turn. So I had a movement plus one that made a big difference, and I have two... I brought two Storm Panzers, and those make a big difference. <laughs> Uh, so the mobility is big. And that's that's what I'd like you to start on, uh, focus on the overall strategy. If I understand you, because I, I see your map, and I'm just going to kind of move my mouse, even though you can't really see it, but the, the viewer can. So what you did in the far south uh, field is move um, your Fallschirmjäger up to, to stand on the airfield and just stay as a defensive um, for that first turn. And then you immediately start to move the center um, force to the airfield because what you're doing is basically evacuating all the areas. You On the top part, you evacuate right away and move north with that one and then move the guy on the city to the south mm -hmm. to do a little wrap around. Because you're going to attack them from the back. There's only one way to do it, by the way. There's only one specific move sequence that you can do with uh, this particular paratrooper. If you move him too far, he gets spotted by another infantry, and then he attacks you, this guy. So you have to move this guy two spaces here. And then you move uh, him up, and then you move him behind. Always keeping him out of sight. Yeah, yeah. It's only one way. You can't run away to the coast because a ship comes up. Ships move first, and they haven't taken this hex yet, so the ships move towards the nearest victory hex. Otherwise, you could oh. save them maybe that way, except I don't think you could... Yeah, you could save them that way. Oh, no, you can't, because this infantry would come this way. So there's only one way to do it. You have to go here, and then oh. here, and then here, and then in the back. <laughs> so. Wow. And um, in, in so doing, you keep this small force up up here, those two auxiliary Fallschirmaggers to snag it towards the very end. Yeah, I even actually grabbed the uh, port too. Because they evacuate everything? Yeah, and then I bait out the AA gun from the major hex. Help me understand. Okay, now, and and the the center, um, the Fallschirmaggers around the center, You, why do you get them off the airfield? Like why do you do? Why do you take them in the air? Uh, I can't save them. So otherwise, I can't save them. Otherwise, so I have to save four units, right? So, yeah. so the the artillery piece is dead. It has no transport. I can't fly it. This guy is dead. Okay. So I've lost two of my eight units guaranteed. So I gotta save as many as I can, and it turns out I can save four of these units. And then, uh, the four in the center. What about the two at the north? And then I save those, so I have up to six maximum that I can save. But, uh, you know me, I, I I like to sacrifice my auxiliary units, and I found some very creative ways to do that. Uh, <laughs> because, um, if you can like distract the fighters, it lets your bombers go do what they want. And if you can get the bomber unescorted or whatever, it, it it's it, it's helpful. And also, you'll notice that near the end, I harass the ships and I park a, a paratrooper unit here, so the anti-aircraft attacks it. So that way I can attack mm. two ships, and so I get some nice kills on my level bombers. 
that you waited till the end because up until that point, see, again, I only watched the first half and it, um, I was seeing you use them mainly to de-entrench and de-ammo um, yep. uh, the, the units. Okay, help me understand the Oladir because that seemed to be a linchpin. Okay, for so your... Oladir goes to an airfield and immediately flies out. And the idea is you land like, about... like on the first turn, you, you land, you take him up in the air. I can't take him in the air on the first turn. It has to be turn two. It would be a lot easier if I could put him in the air in turn one, but I can't. Why? I, I can't go on the airfield. Oh. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, it's not a deployment. Hat. So you have to move him there and then and then you... Because and the only way that you could get around that is if he was already a Fallschirmjäger and Correct. you didn't want to... Okay. Okay. So, oh, got it. Fulcher maker, he would probably be untouchable. <laughs> yeah, I have I have used him as a Fulcher maker. The, the greatest um, downfall of using him as such is um, is the fact you only have four ammo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be a problem. That would suck. But, that does but kind the of idea suck. is, I I forgot this thing. This 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 is a tactic. If you transport infantry in a few other units from one airfield to another. They are not suppressed when they land. What? They're not suppressed. Only paratroopers are suppressed when you drop them. Unless it's on, I don't know if they're suppressed on an airfield or not. I didn't check, but- oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. So, I mean, start thinking about the implications of what that means. <laughs> so, right. You just drop Oladir. Uh, this might have applications on other <clears throat> maps, but uh, you drop him and he's unsuppressed. So, okay, so you drop him and you and you, if I remember correctly, you had the three um, their infantry units surrounding the airfield. How did you get him off the airfield? Why didn't one unit stay on the airfield? Uh, because I have taken this hex. Okay, so or once you actually... take. Wait a minute, I don't remember. Have they taken this by turn four? They haven't taken this, so that means there's a hex they haven't taken. So once this has been taken, they their their programming is we're gonna go to the next major hex that's not taken. Oh, and that's why they are that's why they abandoned the airfield to the north. Correct. It's because they already have it. Yep. Oh, that's a flaw in the game, and that's a very well executed um Okay, so uh, let me explain this to me. Um, so you seize that airfield on turn four, but you say you need to do it by turn four or turn five, um, at the latest, yep. like, why is that, that fluctuation? Why do you not, you why are you not able to, you to why are you not able to take uh, it on turn four sometimes? Oh, if, if, so you get attacked. So I park this paratrooper here and then this infantry unit comes over and attacks me. Uh, uh -huh. but if you do a lot of too much damage, he takes replacements. Oh, instead of taking the airfield. So then he needs to exit the airfield. So if he's at he 13... He needs to take the airfield and then exit it. If he's at 13 strength or more, he, he evacuates. Now, the problem is you huh. have a bunch of paratroopers. So they have high initiative, high soft attack. Uh, so there were... When I was experimenting with it, it was kind of a problem. So the thing is, if you do a turn four, you're golden. Because you were going to really tie up a lot of units. Uh, mm -hmm. Right there on the right flank. Turn five, it's definitely possible to get the size of victory. You're just going to be pushing with less control, if that makes sense. Yeah. So, so um, do ha when you landed Oladir and you had three units, do they ever try and attack nope. Oladir? Nope. Never. Nope. They're not good enough. They're not mountain units. If those were mountain units, and you Oladir had destroyed would the artillery. Mm. And you and and you destroyed the artillery, yeah. so it didn't have anything to soften you up. Mm. Now that plan, okay, that, that plan is brilliant, but it doesn't work if it wasn't for what I discovered before. Was that if you keep this infantry unit here, the tank comes up, and then you park a bomber over it, so you double tap it, and you destroy the tank on the bridge. Right, I saw you. I, I saw you explain that in your. Um, it's in your explanation. You have to do this because if you remove the tank, that means your tanks have the ability to shove in to the enemy and go after the artillery. All right, let's get started. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of subtlety. 
Uh, the level I brought the weakest level bombers, and I think they did an amazing job. Like this map is doable because I brought the two level bombers, because there's two forts and there's some boats you can attack. <laughs> So, and you brought the the Donyers because they're uh, you're dealing with airfields so close to the field. It's yep. it's not an issue. Yeah, that's when I have airfields nearby, I bring the Donier, and then otherwise, if it's a fuel issue, I bring the Heinkel. Okay, when when it as soon as you start, pause it. Okay. If you can. Okay. Now what? Okay. Uh, yeah. So I just wanted to see where you're at. And so you're gonna move the the other Falschermjäger right, yep. um, on the the other, um, god dang it, fortification hex, and they never come up and attack the artillery, even though it looks vulnerable. So these guys are passive for now, uh, and this is the nearest victory hex for some units, I think. I think there's infantry over here, and there's a fort that sees the artillery. So would you rather attack paratroopers without artillery or paratroopers with artillery? Got it. Okay, now go back up to the northern uh, area. Now you take him up right there. I'm gonna drop him here. Let's see it. Does he have to drop there, or can he drop uh, in the one right south of it? I don't. You don't have to drop him till turn three. And if you drop him turn three, I think you can land here. So okay. You have more okay. Now go over to your force and. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, seven plus two level armor. I have nine artillery. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> nine artillery. It, it's it's the artillery. Uh, the the f phase one is you need to seize this by turn five, and if you manage to do that, you have a very strong explosive position, and you tie a bunch of units over here, so the path to this airfield is open. And uh, most players uh work on going north because the northern uh northern eastern edge of the map is open um to exploit but be because of the time scale you just totally avoid going after the anti-tank yeah i skipped and seven all that units. stuff i just skipped seven units over here so there's eight tanks on this map you don't have to deal with two of them <clears throat> Like, so already a quarter of their tank force I, I, I dismiss, and then another tank gets destroyed by tactical bombers. So the armor situation is <clears> manageable <throat> because they come in waves and you can handle it. Right, I, I watched you set up the first few. So um, that that's one of the things that really pissed me off about this map is that it's ahistorical to the nth degree. Because there's tanks? Because you can... <laughs> Yeah, they didn't have any tanks. But tanks okay, make it tricky, whatever. Right? Because you can't just yeah. advance your infantry. <laughs> so, right. but with my tricks, I kind of make them irrelevant. Um, all right. Okay. Oh, you came over the side. Getting it fully suppressed. Oh, so yeah. it doesn't fire back. Yeah, I don't have a lot of targets on turn one, so I might as well just... And then there's that movement plus one, it's really convenient. Mm-hmm. Because I can immediately start de-entrenching the anti-tank on turn two because of that. Whoa. This is a, this is a smart move. I'm gonna bounce him on the bridge. You also spot the tank. I need to open the path immediately. <clears throat> In an anti-tank on a river hex is extremely vulnerable. I, I, I keep the tank pinned. You don't have to do a lot of damage. I think if you do a couple points, it's pinned. And, and this is keeping your artillery moving. Yeah, I'm trying to be very aggressive. And there are other units, you know, you have other options on where you're going to put them. It's, that's a trap for the plane. That's yeah, I saw you set that up for the bomber. It'll work every time. <laughs> the flight path it'll take. As long as it sees something more valuable than the 
Otherwise, it'll attack the paratroopers. I think it's seeing my 88 gun. Mm. Or so, it's seeing. Yeah, something. I did. I did something like that with uh, Obion and had uh, them unwisely come and. So this is okay, really so that's the attack. Yeah, I only did one damage. That was really good. Because if it would have been like three damage, then he then would have, have gotten problem. replaced. I have to wait till turn five. Yeah. Mm. So you might recommend save scum in that particular yeah, battle. Depending on how much control you want. I mean, you can still win. It's just less fun. Mm -hmm. So you're just aggressively moving up. And I'm protecting everybody. These are all passive except for the uh, anti-aircraft gun, which I'll take care of here. This is really slow. They're all passive. Does the one the units all around Rotterdam? Yeah, except for the anti-aircraft, and it's entrenched, and I'm going to deal with that. The paratroopers are right, very, right. Are very useful on this map to just distract. I had a, I had a crappy hit with the paratrooper, so now I'm going to take damage from the fort. How come you didn't? Su oh, because you already attacked it. You just got a lousy hit. I got gotcha. you. And now this is important. We need to kill that anti-tank. Because it opens up the path. I have Kesha there. And look at that, I squeeze in that extra artillery round. <laughs> it's <That's> crazy. <laughs> it's beautiful, like, positioning. Right. And they can see that paratrooper, so uh, they're so they the yeah, enemy moves. Boop. I'm running away. <laughs> You'd be shocked how often a rugged defense happens here, because I'm at five entrenchment. It happens a lot. Like, oh no. Uh... Cool. I know. It, I'm recording. Sometimes it gets like this. Come on. Just show me. There we go. Yeah, the herky jerky replay. The Thanks. replay option just. And now, uh, you don't care if he dies this turn at all. It's not relevant. Right. You are uh, you are getting blessed with a lot of rugged defenses. It it's it's irrelevant. It's not essential. It's nice if you get the rugged defense on the tank. There's all the deer preparing to drop. And tanks on the bridges are very hard. Yeah, and that's why you had that AA move, or that um, attack bomber. Well, I, okay, pause it for a quick sec. I was going to ask you this. Okay, what? Now, okay, now your JU87, the Stuka, yeah. why are you taking it to that airfield and not to the center airfield? Oh, uh, he's out of fuel, I think. He's at... No, no, I get that, but you still have the airfield, so you could have, you oh. see? Uh... That is a good question. I didn't realize. You're right. I could have parked him here. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I made life more complicated for myself than necessary. Okay. I I, did, I I watched you do that, and I didn't understand it when it when it happened. Okay. Then. Um, that was a mistake. Okay. Yeah. Go. Cool. I could have taken care of the artillery. Oh yeah, and I was gonna ask you. Okay, pause it. <laughs> yeah. So, this that attack is. Did you do it in that order because you knew that if uh, you couldn't force it to surrender, it would just go on the on the river? Hex. Uh, I attacked the other way because the fort's easier to take out with paratroopers. Yeah, I get that, but um, but you um. What, what surprised me when, when I watched you do this is that um, you attacked the fort first 
before you attack oh. with the. You know what? That was your... a mistake. You're right. I should have attacked with the tank first, and then the enemy <clears throat> can come up and kill it. Yep. Okay. Go that ahead. was another mistake. It didn't matter in the end, but technically. Yeah, yeah, because he just killed it. <laughs> but technically, that's the better way. So because he's not entrenched, you're gonna have a field day ripping this anti this anti aircraft gun apart. Yeah. That's Kesha too. He's just like hello. Right. <laughs> he's a he's a machine. And now you double tap. You know, you see that strategy used over and over again. Double tap. Because it drains ammo very quickly. Um, with with your weapon. strats? Yeah, they're very powerful. I'm taking the weakest, most criticized level bomber, and I am just so I am completely crushing the enemy forces with them. Like people underestimate how powerful level bombers are, including me. So you drain them of ammo, you get some cheap damage in. Um, Anything to help take those forts out. And you don't have to worry about taking damage. Yeah, pause. Oh, yeah. Uh, pause, pause. Pause. I'm trying to see what their units... Okay, go up to the center... Uh, I'm sorry, the nor most northern airfield. This one? Yeah. Okay, so now you have that AA on the main hex, mm -hmm. and all the other units are going down. Okay, except you got this artillery, and that's slowly moving south too, right? Yep. Yep. Are you gonna uh, kill it before it gets any further south, or you just leave it? I'll let it run. I don't care about why. It. Uh, you don't care about. I don't have the ability to position myself. I can't, pos I can't position myself to kill it and not be seen. Mm. Okay, um, go, go south a little bit more. Yep. And so, okay, yeah, right there. And so all of these units, now that they've seized all these hexes, are just making a beeline. Unfortunately, it's super, well, no, thankfully, it's super slow. Yep. Because this gives you time to set up the yep. different stuff. Yep, these are still passive. What about, what about the, okay, those are all passive. That's, that was going to be my next question. Okay, and then go over to the right a little bit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, there. They only activate All of these they... units. Yep. Just wait again. They're, they're not going to do anything. They don't see anything to attack that they can reach. They don't see anything to attack, so they just stay there the whole time, even after you take Rotterdam. They can't see, and they can't reach even if they could see. You have to give them something to pull them in. And I, I know what you do with the um, the Falschermjager in the, in, the, uh, in the planes, to give the um, their planes a chance to attack you, uh, yep. because uh, you know using their vision against them. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Keep going. Sorry, I keep having you pause. I no, just no, uh, I want to understand things. Stuff. These questions. You know, you're not the only one that's thinking about them. So at this point, the artillery sure. is done, and he has successfully defended. Right. Uh, he has successfully defended my three paratroopers, and he can go die. <laughs> What's that you have in the air above Kesha? Uh, one trigger. of your function magger from the center? Yeah. Uh, Is there a specific reason why you put him there? No, I think... Just a place to put him. I just okay. put him there. I can put him any number of places. They're very flexible. You know, just pick whatever makes sense. Okay. So I'm out flanking Rotterdam. I need to seize the edges. Yeah, that plus one movement is really... Yep, it's a big deal. I think that's, the, that's one of the essential components that makes this work. So the second you get your first hero, make sure it's movement plus, movement plus one. And, and then you get a second movement plus the one. Panzer that's great. Perfect. The Panzer Jaeger is perfect for forts because he has 10 heart attack. <clears throat> So, once you get him suppressed, you should take a whale out of Because <clears throat> you have to take the fort out by turn 5. Because uh, that will give you spotting control. <clears throat> yeah, I was going to ask you, why did you put the Falschermjager in the center like that? So that way my 88 could get experience. 
Oh, it, it, pulls, it pulls the fighter. It pulls the fighter away from where my units are too, and and from protecting the bomber. I want to take care of the fighter, so that my bombers can go do what they want to do. Here comes the binding. So I drop him turn four. <sighs> and there's one hex they haven't seized, and they're gonna just go pile up around Oladir. And it's beautiful because they block the tank from accessing it. And I get an airfield what to tank? refuel from. It's cool because I get an airfield to refuel from too. Right. Oh, because your yeah, the plane attacked your Falschmagger. Yep. Wait, wait, I'm sorry, it's getting herky jerky. Can you pause it for a quick sec? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You took that four, um, that yeah. four, the four Falschmagger. Where did you take him? Here. W why? Are you going to uh, use him to help the northern? This variant. Okay, there's a couple of variants. You can use this to trap a fighter, but it means your fighter takes damage because of. Uh, the anti-aircraft gun, because you park your fighter here, you park your Farsha Mager here, the fighter uh -huh. spies it, this, or somebody spots it, and then the fighter comes down and attacks it. But then he comes out of and the airfield and attacks your fighter. Mm -hmm. However, uh, maybe if I park a 10-strength paratrooper here, he'll come out and attack that instead. I didn't experiment with it. There's a couple of ways to deal with the final wave, and I wasn't entirely... I, this is the only spot I can put my fighter that they can't see it. So, uh, I want to trap the fighter because if I trap the fighter, I can kill it, and then my bombers are free. Mm -hmm. and so, uh, um, help me understand this. So, the, the, the AI only has one more fighter yep. on this map? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then you can trap the bomber. So now the rush with the artillery is not so intense because everybody's in position so that they can deliver blasts. We're going to boot them out in the open because we want to... Um, it's easier to kill them in the open. Mm -hmm. With the artillery gone, the AI has got serious problems. Now I'm protecting my stuff with my storm manager. Now I have spotting yeah. based on that city hex. That's really important. So now I can trap the bomb. Yeah, yeah. That's a solid move. And the fighter is gone. A, it's a, uh, and the right, it's me. This the fighter is gone. So. It's a irresistible uh, position. Oh, um, but your plane did too well, yeah. so that it didn't it have a chance to use the AA. Yeah, my poor AA undeveloped. <laughs> they don't know that I'm going to That's good. Yeah, it's sometimes like this. I've been using my computer heavily today. Now they're they're mostly just moving south. I'm gonna have you pause as like right now. Yeah. Okay. Oh shoot! Uh, I was hoping to see how far they had come. They're here. Yeah. They're in this area. All in okay. This area. So notice that now, Turn six. look at this pocket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's interesting how they pile up. It's not quite convenient. Like in um, the later years, when the Russians pile up, it's just dog pile, and it's easy, cheesy, chicken squeezy to do the forced surrender thing. But um, this is tricky, and what you accomplish here is is not easy by any stretch. Yeah, so there's a couple of issues. We have some forts. Um, right. So we're going to be pressuring this spot very heavily. 
and then he's going to get <coughs> a bunch of entrenchment, but I'm going to pull Oladir out, and then he's going to move in and take this hex. Yeah. That's pretty wicked. I've got it that far. That, that's about the extent of where I was at. But once you drain him of ammo, then you can start wailing on him. So and so you're leaving the Farsham Jagger up in the uh, up in the plains because they're most uh, vo are uh, useful in that state yep. instead of dropping them to help sur surround the uh, units to the wanna, south of you. I, I don't want to risk losing them, and also uh, I want to use them as bait to help protect my bombers. So you see, uh, using them in their in their on the ground as too vulnerable. I do drop one later, but that's only after I've secured my position. Okay, keep going. Because you can drop them at any point. Right, right, right. That's why I was trying to understand why you weren't. I think this is the round you get the plus one movement. You must have just been jumping up and down and got that. But notice that the resistance is like crippled, right? There's not much in front of me. There it is. So with with the resistance not normally there's a lot of units in front of you, but with my approach, it's not the case. The way is open. What, what do you mean? Well, there's usually way more units here. They're all over here. Oh yeah, because so, so because uh, the you, you're usually focused on the center, trying to save the center, but in your variant. You um, have them focused on the leftmost yep. objective. I see what you're saying. And because of that, the access to that next airfield is wide open. Yeah. On turn six. You just have to. You just have to park them on the on the unoccupied um, river hex. Now you're gonna. View up. So now this tank has a problem. He can't really attack anything, and my bombers are arriving. I start de-entrenching the anti-tank turn six because you need to get him de-entrenched. Then I bring more so artillery support. <clears throat> what surprised me is um, how limited uh, their prestige is. It wouldn't matter if they had a lot. No, no. I mean, they have enough to do replacements. Right, because all the hexes you let them seize, which ends up giving you more prestige. Now you get rid of the tank. There's Kesha, estab establishing a strong position. I have 288 guns, so they can't outflank me, because I'm going to cover myself. This, I thought you were going to force that guy to surrender. The one in the uh, Fort Hex? It's really hard. It's right. It's to drain it of ammo. And he's frozen, he can't move. That's why I attacked with Oladir first. To, so you've paralyzed that unit. And then I try to force another surrender. I think that tank only has like three movement, so he can't even attack Oladir. It's hilarious. So that slow tank is killing him. So my flanks are protected, so it doesn't matter what the, the rest of the army is. It? Oh, uh... So look at that, another... <laughs> just walk right in. Go ahead. Go, go, where are those tanks? Oh, where are those over from? here. Here, they're from this group. No, not those tanks. There was tanks I saw moving. Yeah, there, tanks, those. What these, are tanks, those? these tanks are moving, and this one. Wait, you're moving too fast. I, oh, I, I, these tanks. Sorry. 
these tanks were moving, and it's from this group. Yeah, where, where are those from? There's an attack group up here. That's the far northern, and they're slowly, slowly moving down. Yeah, and now south. I don't care because I have an established defensive position now. Because those those actually never make it. They do, um, but they, it doesn't matter what they, they do. do. They make it, but I have 88 guns. Like, what are they going to do against those? I have a Panzer Jaeger. Oh, they're trying to get to Rotterdam. Or the Sex, whichever is nearest to them. Right, right, right. But okay, sorry. I just was trying to understand the, what forces are coming. There's a lot more coming. And why? I actually kill a lot of it. So now I'm vainly trying to uh, do something about this guy. The 88 game gets a ton of experience against infantry and forts, just so you know. Yeah, I don't quite understand that. It's because it's not supposed to be easy to kill them. <laughs> I think. Oh. So we force that surrender and that pocket. Come on. There we go. And then I bounced him around, but he can't get fuel. So it's okay. And then I pull the deer out, isn't that? So that guy's in right. seven entrenchment and he's gonna give it all up. How did you know that one was going to move and not the one that doesn't have any ammo? Because, uh, because... I'm assuming the, the AI wouldn't want to put something that has no ammo into a major hex, I'm guessing. I don't know if it I know, it must have sense. been that it was just going first. But I'm not sure exactly how it works. Now I'm trying to kill that tank. Now they're in really serious trouble because their armor is gone. That was unexpected. Um, I didn't realize, I forgot the bomber moved first. The idea was that paratrooper would protect my fighter, but then the uh, fighter attacked it. So I don't think this trap works. You should- You're not lucky with that. Yeah. But I wouldn't do this. This isn't the right way. Instead, I would trap the fighter with that paratrooper. And then the AA will attack the paratrooper. If you just shove it one hex over to the west, then you can do the same trap. <clears throat> just let the just let the bomber go, and then you can trap the bomber. And then oh, and then I trap then I trap the fighter that way oh but it sees your just the destroyer sees your fighter oh. it doesn't matter it's it's such a vulnerable uh, it's such a juicy target sometimes they'll they'll still attack it thinking I'll be able to kill it I have um, seen um, units bomb AI bomb my one strength units because it doesn't matter they're gonna take the shot i think i did that on dunkirk notice by the way i'm ignoring this heavily entrenched infantry because i don't need to pay attention to him so he can entrench all he wants i'm gonna outflank on the left uh-oh kesha's in and in, in getting in position so now we're gonna pull another infantry unit into a hex to attack my panzer Jaeger. Oh, bye bye. So then the problem for the fighter is there's two 88 guns in the area. <clears throat> See, it, it always wants to occupy the main hex. Yep. Here they come. But that's just another surrender pocket, right? They're, they're running out of space. Keep de entrenching. <clears throat> yeah. I, d I don't know. Maybe my computer is just really hot. I 
I got a lot of prestige. There you go. I really wish it stopped that. Okay. And then I, you know, Panzer Fours with two points of overstrength are gonna really lay me into open infantry. So you you put a little suppression in there. They're ready for surrender. Right. Oladir Even Kesha. working on their Panzer tank. Yep. Oladir and Kesha working together. <clears throat> now I finally cleared the whole left flank and, and the AI's got big problems because they don't have anything in position. And I can take that airfield whenever I want. Initiative. Yeah, that's good. Now I'm pulling the AA from the major hex so I can snatch it. Where's that other artillery? Somewhere south. Oh gosh, now the tanks are coming. But it's really slow. Like, I don't really care that. There it is. It's just yeah, a right. Tank, yeah. Whoops. And now I trick the AI and they pull a couple units north. <laughs> and now I have enough time to set up the 88. And I kind of laugh at them like, okay, what are you going to do about that? <laughs> and I'm really securing the, the flank here. So like, there's nothing they can attack. So Oladir is safe. And I can go yeah, after the that. I go after the artillery because if you cripple the artillery, it's gonna make life a lot easier. Right. And now you're using those to help you. Okay. <clears throat> so you can use them on the strat. Because what else am I gonna use the strat bombers for right now? Good grief, the strats suck. <laughs> that was a bad hit, but it's cloudy. So. Oh. Yeah. You can get like five uh -huh. or six damage in actually. I just bounce okay, so some units around. Them. It's hilarious. Like, I can just do whatever I want. I have a second 88 gun arriving to protect the other flank. I'm running out of targets. <laughs> I'm attacking like infantry because I don't have anything else. So what shocked me was they attacked my infantry. Even though it's backed up by uh, Yeah. I did like a lot of I did a lot of damage. Did you get a rugged defense or just it was just, just worked he out attacked though? me in the woods. I <laughs> I don't know if that was a good idea. I mean they could see the artillery. Right. I, I, that was a very strange... Uh, and they attacked your Panzer Jäger because they didn't see the artillery. Yeah, yeah. That was God, me finish, I finished the artillery. Then I used the other Panzer IV to guard my flank. And then I can kill this Now tank. you have two turns and you still have to dislodge that yeah, but last unit. Yeah, you pause it. It's perfect time to get sunny. Okay, so now, yeah, how much entrenchment? Seven. Seven? But I have only. Okay, so you're to Yeah, okay, I get that. But um, how are you going to dislodge it? I've got my movement, or no, I've got uh, these two. <clears throat> so those two artillery and Oladir are enough to dislodge a 15 strength Dutch infantry. That's how good Oladir is, yeah. Are you not able to seize that last city? I can get this. Which city are you talking no, about? No, 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 not that city. The city right below Old Deer. Uh, I get it. There. I'm not in a hurry. Okay. Okay, come on. I'm getting greedy now. Their last, oh, active, yeah. their last active tank is now pinned.
Once you get some suppression in, Oladir is really good. And he doesn't take replacements. I think you should have done a forced surrender on there. Uh, I didn't want to expose my artillery, I think. I'm trying to keep that artillery pinned. Who would have thought you can play around on the Hague on ultimate mode? Not this monkey. But yeah, you can see that if you land Oladir turn 4, you can really control the map. So the AA goes back into the victory hex, but it can't take it because it's AA. Yeah. Perfect. One might say I'm a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Boop. The infantry moves first, and then they can't take it. Really making sure it's across. Boom. Oladir would have to have a really bad roll to fail there. Right. As a pioneer, no, it's not going to happen. Did you take your 88 and destroy that little uh, tank? I didn't because there's infantry that could see it. And I was worried... Actually, I could have done that. I could have done that. I there is no armor left, so my artillery is not exposed. Oh, it is exposed. If I if I go here and park artillery here, one, two, three, this infantry comes in and hits my artillery. So that's why I didn't do it. Yeah, but you can back it up with the infantry. You can back it up with the infantry. You can put it on the flank. Uh, I don't think I have enough. You pause it. I'm very thin on the line, actually. Eh, go back. He can die, that's okay. Yeah. We're almost at the end. Uh, God. So they didn't attack you until you, you had... They didn't attack me because, um, I guess, one, the initiative handicap wasn't good enough. So. Huh. Okay, you scroll down a little bit. So if I come out here and park an artillery oh, here. Oh, where, where, where did that guy come from in the, in the south? Yeah, he's part of that I, last I, attack group. Oh, he was slowly trying to get to Rotterdam. But he's one turn too slow. Uh, yeah, no, see, I thought, okay, I didn't realize there there was a guy right there. Never mind. Yeah, my, my point's irrelevant. So that's why I didn't kill the tank, because yeah. I, I was really thin, actually, <laughs> on the line. So, mm -hmm. uh, and Kesha was out of action. So, one turn too slow, too bad. I could, of course, retreat if I needed to, but it's ironic that he can't reach it. <laughs> and as long as you have one ammo here, they won't attack. And he won't attack Oladir. That's a beautiful I, piece of machinery right there. Yeah, I should have. He should have died, but they got lucky. So of that final attack wave, there's only these four units, five units left, and yeah. And they're not able to spam because I bet they only have like six units that. And they still have like a ton of core units right there. And I there. even killed that artillery. That was unexpected. I killed a lot of units. Um, 
<clears throat> is there anything, any way that you see that you could improve this in order to grab more hexes? No. No. I no, mean, I can't park a for crying out loud, no. I can't. For you to break the hag is insane, in my opinion. Not only I, did I break the hag, I'm I'm farming the hag. Right. I mean, my You're planes. Just just... My my planes ran out of targets. That's impressive. And then I bounce units around and I kill them. Where are you at in your playthrough right now? Uh, I just finished Mabuige, and I think I just posted that. Oh, did you? Um, yeah, I used a new strategy for that one. So you're at the... Can you pull up a RAS? So oh. you're at a RAS, right? Oh, by the way, I got a second hero on my Panzer IV. You're not gonna... <laughs> you're not gonna believe what it is. Uh, Plus three attack? No. It's better. Plus one movement? No. Plus three defense? He's got plus six defense. Oh, wait a minute. This on... You got two heroes on yeah. it? <laughs> At the end of uh, the last scenario, he just got his got a second hero. <laughs> That's insane. <I> know. <laughs> it's insane. Oh man, this guy is gonna be crazy. Oh, it's awesome. Like whenever you need him to like hold a spot, <clears throat> you just shove him out there. Right, I mean, you you, he, you shouldn't have to worry about him being in close terrain, because doesn't the defense on close terrain also yeah, carry over? So. so what does that mean? He has plus. So that's a plus eight. <laughs> so is that? Like that's like a that's like an infantry. So how much does a pioneer have? They're really good, right? I think eight. I think only six actually, but theirs is calculated. They think different. No, this is only two. Two. See that you see that doesn't make sense. Why the Panzer 4D is two, two, a two as well. I mean, oh, you know what it is? Um, but, Experience. I think uh, plus one close defense every star. So that th these guys have four. Mm. So then they'll have six when they're four stars. Holy shit! You're telling me <laughs> that's eight. That means that he has more close defense than a maxed. XP Pioneer. Now, one of the things about Deductor's mod that's really nice is that they actually have four in close defense, and Mountain units have three, so they're really good. What did Falsham Jagger have? Two, it looks like, yeah. No, no, I meant like in... Close defense? In... I don't know. It's probably two. Hmm. But they're soft attack. Well. <sighs> so, hard um... So, yeah. If you don't mind, can you go over your your game plan for what you see as the playthrough for this one? Oh, 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 Mabuish? Oh, um... Not for, for a RAS. Oh, a RAS? What's your plan for a RAS? Uh, it's probably going to be very similar to what I normally do. Oladir and a paratrooper go up here, clean this up, paratrooper flies back, or comes back here. I will probably stick a pioneer in here, the other pioneer in here to entrench. Uh, I might try to fly a paratrooper in the back to grab this and this and this, because it's really hard to get a scout back here. And then uh, I think another paratrooper is going to fly and seize this airfield at the right time and then fly again down here to seize this on the final turn. And if I get that airfield, that means that I don't have to pull my planes back as much. You know what I could do? I could jump the fighter here. That might work. Jump the fighter. Yeah, because there's a fighter here. Or is, I think... Hang on, let me surrender. I think you have to deploy units first. Let me surrender. So there's... I'm pretty sure there's a fighter here after the first wave. How many planes are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, but seven. they spawn all the time, don't they? No, they don't spawn yet. So I think there's a fighter here. I kill it, and then I can drop a paratrooper, and they can't see me. This is the final wave. The scout's not going to be around. 
So then I drop him, then I fly him again to drop him back here. That might be the plan. The other paratrooper snatches this, this, and this. Uh, Wait, go to the south. Go to the south, but with that final objective. Yeah. What, about it? what stays there? The bridge engineer stays there? No, he moves. Or the yeah, this, tank. Yeah, he stays. He so stays I, in the in the village. I might even take it on turn 18 and attack this anti-tank with my paratrooper. I might have to, like, bomb it first, but... The, these guys will be so far forward, they're not going to come back. Right. And then you can get a decisive in 17 turns on this map. I've shown that before. Then I'll leave a SE unit back here to guard this. And then another SE, and then probably... Show me, show me where you plan on doing your defensive line. Probably so here. Where the I, 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 it's... Okay. This First wave is right there, okay. Or here. It depends on what happens. And the second defensive line, I'm going to be in their face. And then I'm going to have a bunch of auxiliary units up front. So they can take the beating. And we will get this hex. Uh, I will send my SE to seize that. Or my mountain unit. I'm not sure which. Maybe my mountain unit. And then the SE will go here. My regular with trucks will go here. And I'll have him as support. And I'll have a Panzer III and a Panzer IV and an 88 here. Two Panzer Jaegers and an 88 down here. Plus all the anti-tank stuff I can find. Plus a scout. Hmm. All right. Well, yeah. I'm really enjoying this deep dive and uh, helping me see maps in different ways. Oh, so I really appreciate you, you being willing to do this. Uh, I updated the ultimate mode stuff. So now we have a table of contents. Oh, oh nice. nice. So, oh, nice. So I put like tactics stuff. Uh, like in the fighter tactics, you put chain trap, stuff like that. Yeah, and then you can add it into this so you can see I've got it. Like, It's not kind of funny that there's not that many panzer tactics that we talk about in panzer corps <laughs> that's hilarious but anyway i have artillery like uh we have the unit tactics and then we have stuff like combined arms tactics major hex tactics unique tactics transportation tactics terrain tactics what's the unique tactics hard to categorize <laughs> um like how to protect a badly placed unit use enemy as a blocker i was amazed look at this i got like six transportation tactics seven terrain tactics eight weather tactics uh, and wow. then, uh i was thinking like I, I post a link to my video that's with no commentary that shows like what i think is optimal and then maybe brief commentary on the highlights it's a lot of work though oh, good. and then maybe do it for yeah man. <laughs> but it could really build up you can come come in here and um add stuff it's more organized because soren's like you know, the audience is going to want it to be more organized. Absolutely. Uh, this is brilliant. And so you can so, uh, it if you wanted. Yeah. I got. I just like this. This one, Oladir, can be used to fly around to empty airfields to cause chaos. And, you know, mm -hmm. you thought Oladir As was you demonstrated in the hang. So you thought Oladir was overpowered before. Let me introduce you to airfields. <laughs> He's crazy. <clears throat> uh... Um, oh, what was I going to say? I forgot. Never mind. It's gone. So I have it color-coded, by the way. Uh, I'm, there's like default black. That's probably me. My responses are orange. And Soren is purple. And you're blue. Yeah. I need to start adding more stuff. So one thing that would be helpful is references. So I only put like a brief reference for these tactics but if you can think of a scenario that uh put it in there because he thinks that there should be more so the way it's organized is we put it in parentheses the name of the player the scenario and the mode and then i put a semicolon for the next list <clears throat> and then we yeah i think the, the triple s is the 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 reference to the africa core i i always draw people to that 
um, yeah, to well, see. Th this one, we don't need it so much. I just say watch any scenario by Goose, especially Africa. Corp. Right. <laughs> but there's other like very specific narrow tactics, like flying Oladir to an airfield. Uh, I, I think I put that. The egg. <laughs> I put that. Uh, see Richard Martin. See, I should just put this in parentheses. Richard Martin to make it properly formatted. The Hague and Sedan ultimate mode. And you could add maybe another scenario you can think of with a semicolon. And it looks more. Yeah, I have to. So if I would be right. really nice to have some help with like when you can think of instances when this tactic got used and put the reference in. Like, yeah. you think of any scenario where you've used bridge engineers to great effect. That would be I'm going to see if I can. I'm gonna see if I can do this when I'm at work, because usually I, I, yeah, I am set to take like 15 minute breaks, so I can take a break and pop and if, in. And if you want to find a convenient name or a shorter way to describe the tactic, that's fine too. But yeah, this is pretty deep. Look at this. I put page breaks in, and then there's a the prestige management. You can put your comments in here. Oh yeah, I would definitely um, put something about um, for the three S's. Um, one of the things is know what the heart strength is for the unit, because I I tried to explain the three S's to. Have you ever seen the the uh, player Zilla Blitz? I have not. Okay, he's <clears throat> he he doesn't play Panzer Corps that much. He plays um a lot of other uh, games i i find his playthrough of panzer Corps very very amusing because he's like a newbie so he's you know just eager to discover new things and so i i tried to teach him the three s's and he he understands suppression kind of but not really he doesn't really understand the the red, you know, he sees it go yellow. Oh, it went yellow. And he sees it go red, but he doesn't understand looking at the heart strength on the, the meter on the far right. You know, so I'll have to, I'll have to add something to that. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. One thing I should men uh, mention, what I've, what I've done a much better job of with this playthrough is I am exploiting the terrain features with um, entrenchment more efficiently so you know how i think everybody does this you like over suppress units on hexes like whether it's 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 uh 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 whether it's a fortification or city so here's the thing okay. on ultimate mode like let's look at warsaw you have a lot of units you need to kill you have a lot of units in fortification hexes you have a lot of really deeply entrenched units right so right. what we were often doing was like hyper concentrating artillery on like one spot and we're going to force a surrender on that spot but actually the reason i could achieve so much at warsaw was i spread out the artillery shots and i paid very close attention to exactly how much entrenchment was left so when you have a city hacks and you get the entrenchment down to two you should stop shooting right and if you have a what would it so if you if you're not going to, if I understand you, if you if you, you stop at two, to do what? To shoot something else. Because you know. But next if you're going to force it to surrender, you need to have it at one. But you're not going to be doing that. So so the thing is, okay. you can only do so much on the map, right? The I biggest gotcha. issue that you're fighting gotcha. is 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 entrenchment. So you have other units that are heavily entrenched. So you need to bombard that spread unit. out spread out the suppression because once you get like for example the in um what are they called the entrenchment hacks isn't that what it's called yeah yeah the fortification fortification hacks yeah the, the, once you get it past four you know like at three it'll automatically entrench to four yep. so oh, yeah okay so, believe it or not, that simple concept if you master that simple concept, Warsaw is easy. And for some mm. reason, not a single player mastered that concept. Because Soren doesn't have to worry about it because um, he has plenty of time. Like, he can just overkill with artillery. 
But if you're playing on ultimate mode, the pressure that you are under yeah. to get those hexes under control, every artillery shot counts, and we were not efficiently launching our artillery. If a fortification hex hits three, stop. Yeah, that's a wise. That's a wise. Uh, and I that's a wise that. tactic you're explaining right now. I um I would try and think of how to explain that. Um, well, the reason is if you have a but, wide range of targets and you have a bunch of heavily entrenched units, you have to spread the love around, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. you don't have a lot of time, and you got a lot of units you got to kill. And in ultimate mode, there's no room for air. So you just got to get much better about this. Like at the Hague, I was counting my artillery shots specifically to make sure I didn't overuse them. And that's why mm. I was able to devour uh, Rotterdam because I didn't over... So quickly. Mm -hmm. That kind of thing has made the playthrough go much smoother. Paying very, very, very careful attention to how much entrenchment is left. Especially in fortification hexes. Um, and also city hexes. I think we overkill on the city hexes. If you're not taking that unit out this turn, once you get it down to two, you stop. Right. Right. Okay, I'm going to need to wrap it up. I need to get some sleep. All right. This, is, this has been great. I really like doing these, and I don't know what our next one will be. Um, you probably but... want to talk about Sedan, I'm going to guess. Yeah. You're, you're yeah, gonna, that'd be good. Gonna, you are gonna freak at <laughs> how I dismantled that scenario. It's wait till you see how I dismantle the Kursk maps. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be impressive if you get to Kursk Armory. That's uh, <laughs> that's the plan. That's the goal. That I'm in Obion. But uh, I posted Sedan as well, which I think you'd be. It's it's honestly kind of funny how trivial Sedan is. Like wow, <laughs> uh, you just you just, it's all carefully and methodically calculated to precisely work in thirteen turns. You can get a decisive in twelve, but it's a little risky. Um, <laughs> like, but it's it's uh, these new tactics. This Oladir to airfield business is insane. It's just yeah that that was a. Um... A well thought out tactic by your part to figure out and and to execute to find out that they don't actually um, uh, suppress when they land and I should have known that because in Africa Corps if you take them in in the Caucasus map and you take them up north in oh I forget what they're called those special kind of um, special kind of drop ships drop planes. They don't. They don't drop suppressed. But I didn't think about it on the actual airfield of an actual infantry unit. So yeah. So we've been playing the game wrong. <laughs> like here we are. We think we know so much. It, it, it's like it's crazy to me that everyone's making that mistake.